Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgy, and this is Dimmer Borgia again. Um, they've got a new album coming out on May the 4th um, called Eonian, which looks quite a lot like that. And uh, I did a song off it, um, I forgot when, a couple of weeks ago. And I was surprised because it was quite. For, for Dimmer Borgia, it was quite slow. Um, and I liked it and everything. It's not that I didn't like it. You can't... It, Dimmer Borgia are one of those bands that's quite difficult to dislike. As long as you like a bit of theatrical black metal. Um, so I liked it and everything. I think I was... But I was a bit surprised that they'd released a song that was... That, 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 that was slower, I suppose, than, than what you associate with them. So if you're going to put out... a a song off your new album as like your first hey look we've got a new album I don't know I think they would have I would have expected them to give you like both barrels you know to just like come and smack you in the face so that you couldn't ignore it and it was I think I was surprised at that it was slower than than what I was expecting and I realize that's a tiny point but it, it just it just struck me as odd um but it was top quality, you know, top quality. So they've put out a new um, video for another song off this album called Council of Wolves and Snakes, which I have also not heard because I, I don't listen to a lot of, I don't watch YouTube when I'm not doing this, believe it or not. Very rarely do I watch YouTube. Um, and I, this album's not out yet, so there's no other way I can hear it. So I, I haven't heard this yet. Um, but I'm curious to see whether they've, whether it's more traditional Dimmerborgia than the other song. So let's find out. I'm looking forward to it because there are always, t you know, full value for money, shall we say. <laughs> um, so let's find out what this one is.
Okay. <laughs> I take back everything I said. I take back everything. It, it just sounds superb. That beginning, the very slow singing and the, um, and the music and everything reminds me of a band called Tripticon of all things. I will look up a Tripticon song and put one on my channel. Um, anyway, enough about Tripticon, but I just, I was thinking, crikey, it reminds me of Tripticon a bit. It just sounds so great. I take back everything. <laughs> tell you they they've surprised me again and th and thinking about it surely that's better than them rehashing what they used to do I think I've just I think this song has just completely changed my mind in that perhaps I'm I've just become one of those people that's going yeah but their old stuff was better because that is as not only as good as anything I've ever heard from Dima Borgia in its own right, that is a, just a great piece of music. I mean, these guys have been around a long time. It's not like, it's not like they've just burst onto the scene, you know, as, as young kids or anything. But dare I say, and yes, I do, dare I say, <laughs> that had a, a maturity to it where they've allowed themselves to explore more feeling because that had I can't believe I'm saying this about a Dima Borgia song <laughs> that had a beauty to it that that just made me so calm you know I, I stopped the song and said something whatever it was I said and then when I restarted the song it went into this really calm phase of just beautiful music now I understand some people will just not like his vocals but that's, that's Dimmer Borgia you know it had its fast moments but it wasn't a it wasn't an elevator ride to hell kind of song <laughs> it, it just 
I think I'm a little stunned at how this is one listen this is up there that's the first time I've only heard it that once I've never heard it before and I'm, a, I'm just a little stunned at how how good that was and I use the word good a lot when I make these videos because what good means to me is doesn't mean like average because I'm not saying the because I'm not saying words like amazing or outstanding or anything um, when I use the word good I mean it's it's quality it's it's got integrity it's good um, so it doesn't mean average when I say that because that was good <laughs> Because that was out, outstanding. I'm, look, I'm stunned. I'm struggling for words. I can't believe how good that was. They, they, they cut down on the theatrics. I think I, I called them death metal panto, I think, last time. And they are, you must admit, quite often they are, they are death metal not death black metal panto not death metal panto black metal panto um if you don't know what panto is it's a uk thing um look it up <laughs> um, but it just means like an over-the-top performance you know it's just it's like a silly over-the-top performance but this has all been dialed back and brought out all of that maturity and i'm i'm a little amazed this is the second song if you, if you this is the second song I've done you'll see that I've got this t-shirt on in another video because I've done two songs and that one really left me sort of speechless for completely different reasons and this and you know it's a completely different song and that's the beauty of of all the genres of heavy metal I think is that you can there's just such quality across all these different genres and Dimmer Borgia You've really, really done something special here. Blimey. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that was really good. That was really, really good. Thanks for watching. I'll shut up now and go away. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe and like and all of those YouTubey things. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to go and listen to that again. Bye.